guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a requested video and this is going to be an update on my fragrance collection so I have currently um, the last time actually I did my fragrance collection video was about a couple of months ago I think in October and since then uh, my collection has changed a lot and I just wanted to share with you um, what's new right so what's new what I have picked up and what are some of the things that kind of interest me uh, from the fragrance world uh, I'm gonna go quickly through this because you know I want to show you all the bottles that I have um, I'm gonna link uh, my previous October video so you can see how my collection has changed and just give you a couple of thoughts on some of the fragrances you know that I'm gonna show you today nothing in depth um, should you want to hear something more in depth um, you can you know request it down in the box or some of them I actually already reviewed so you can check those videos so without further ado let's go through the collection um, I'm gonna start off with my designers and then I'm gonna move into my niche bottles so first bottle that I'm gonna show you is a bottle that I already have from my uh, previous video and this is from the house of Thierry Mugler and this is called um, Mugler Cologne. I have to smell it to remember it. That's so funny. So anyway, Thierry Mugler Mugler Cologne, uh, in my honest opinion and in the opinion of many others, uh, the king of soapy smells. So this basically smells like, you know, uh, it gives you the feeling, at least to me and to many others, of when you get fresh out of the shower and it just projects this feeling of freshness through the day. Um, Extremely inexpensive thing. I think I pick up this 100 milliliter bottle for around 22 euros. I definitely recommend it to anybody. Um, you know, inexpensive, unisex, beautiful, fresh smell. Absolutely gorgeous, in my honest opinion, with uh, a price tag that you really cannot be matched. So, Thierry Mugler, Mugler Cologne. Next, uh, from my designer list, is one of the fragrances that I have had for a long, long time and one of my summer favorites. And it is Chanel Allure Sport. So there is another version of this which is called Extreme Sport, which is pretty much similar, but probably what I believe is has a bit better performance than this. Performance than this. Um, this is a great fresh summer scent. Uh, it just smells beautiful. Uh, the only downside to this particular uh, fragrance is that um, the longevity and the performance is not the best. Other than that, an absolutely stunning fragrance and I can highly recommend it um, from my collection. Next is Oldie but Goldie. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not used this one for a long, long time, but I keep it in my, you know, in my collection, in my honest opinion. This is a niche fragrance from a designer house, an older one, but a great one. Chanel Egoiste. Um, there ha this has been of course reformulated a couple of times and all the people say you know it's not what it used to be I don't know what it used to be to be completely honest but for me it smells really really nice this is a complex smell it's not for everybody so you know try before you buy but it's, it's really it, there, there is something in this you know that it kind of it kind of makes me you know still have it in my collection although I do not use it that much definitely a heavier scent more for you know kind of I would say winter, autumn time, maybe early spring, but not a summer scent in my honest opinion. Chanel Egoiste. Next is a scent that is loved by many and, you know, also not loved by many. Uh, a controversial scent in the sense of a lot of people really like it and a lot of people, you know, dislike it. And it is the Dior Sauvage, the new Sauvage. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, for me, this is a very safe, highly complimented scent um, with a very decent price tag. This one can be picked up for around 60, 70 bucks online for 100 mil. Um, a very versatile scent. You can go with this one, you know, to work. You can, you know, use it for going out. It's casual, but can be dressed up. Um, a lot of people, you know, there were, you know, there were reviews for this scent saying that it smells very artificial, very metallic. There is a bit of a metallic note in it, but you know, honestly, it, it, it gets a lot of compliments. You know, it's very safe and in my own, honest opinion, good. I enjoy it and I can recommend it, Dior Sauvage. 
Um, next is one of my kind of split bottle recent acquisitions from Serge Lutin and I hope I'm not you know butchering the name this is Shergui 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 I don't know if I said it correctly this is one of these really really nice hay tobacco pipe kind of smells it just it for me it smells divine the juice is very very dark as you can see yourself almost like black but it's not black it's a kind of brown amberish an absolutely divine smell i picked this one up on uh on a, uh, a fragrance forum for uh, 20 bucks shipped something like that i really really enjoyed this one definitely a classic scent um, a lot of people love this scent and for a reason it's very very nice a heavier scent with very good projection uh, more meant more for winter months than anything else maybe you know maybe autumn but not, I, I don't see this as a, as a summer scent but man very very addicting very very nice scent so Shergui or Shergui from Serge Lutin Lutin I don't know next is what I call you know the king in my collection at least of party scents or clubbing scents um, this is from a house of Profumum Roma and this is called Aqua e Zucchero um, this is super super sweet it is what it says on the box sugar water uh, what it smells actually is it smells like cotton candy to me to be completely honest there's definitely vanilla in here but just you know it smells really really I don't know kind of rich sugary sweet very attractive scent um, I wore this a couple of times out got a lot a lot of compliments uh, especially from the ladies and actually it's a completely unisex fragrance so you know uh, can be worn by ladies and most of my scents actually are and you know just generally in scents you know anybody can wear whatever they want as, as long as you like it guys you should wear it don't look really in you know if it's classified as something you know classified as the latest fragrance doesn't mean you cannot wear it obviously but this you know get your nose on this um, I, I, I know sweet scents are not for everybody, you know, so there's a lot of people that do not like gourmand scents and that's fine But you know, this one is just on a different level when it comes to gourmands for me It just smells divine. Absolutely attractive. Great clubbing scent Aqua e Zucchero from Profumum Aroma um, Next in my collection I'm gonna show you uh, my Tom Ford's I currently own two Tom Ford fragrances both of them are from his private brand line the first one needs absolutely no introduction it is tobacco vanille um, tobacco vanilla blended to almost perfection or perfection um, there are people saying that there are better scents in this category uh, I think Parfum de Marley Herod I think it's Harold, one of them, which is similar to this, but maybe done better. I don't know what can be better on this one. Projection is great. Longevity is great. Smells great. It's prob it's a bit more expensive. You know, this one's go for around 150 pounds or $200 mark, I believe, for 50 milliliter per fan. But, you know, you don't need much of this, you know, to, to you know, get the performance that you want. Um, in my honest opinion, very very nice scent so tobacco vanilla from the house of Tom Ford the next four that I have is the one that I talked about in one of my videos and this is uh, Costa Azura so this one is more of a spring summer kind of smell which you know I think all of them with the blue bottles are um, this has bergamot and you know kind of bergamotish lemony kind of orangey notes in it but with a twist and the twist it is they added wood but not your everyday wood but they added bark wood so i can't really explain you how bark wood smells it's very hard when you're doing this kind of reviews on fragrances on you know on camera um i wish you know i could just put it like that and you guys could smell it but you know it has you know a dimension of woodiness to it which you know makes it a more of an interesting kind of with a twist summer scent that your traditional bergamot would not summer scents are i don't know if this makes any sense i really like it and f to me it's my favorite you know between the the other summer scents from private line that uh, 
um, that Tom Ford does. So this is Costa Azura. Next, um, let me quickly show you these two from the house of Orto Parisi. I recently did a review on this Bocanera, so you can check that on my channel. Um, this is kind of a twist, kind of a take on a gourmand line from the five fragrances in this particular collection from uh, Alessandro Galtieri. Um, the notes are dark chocolate, pepper, chili pepper, um, and uh, sandalwood. And I believe there's some wood in there and musk and ginger. Uh, I, I think this is blended to perfection. This is my signature winter scent. I absolutely adore it and I recommend it to everybody to try it out. Totally unisex Bocanera from Orto Parisi. The second Orto Parisi that I have is Sturcus. Um, this one is this one has very different vibe. Uh, this one is very animalistic, I would say, you know, kind of dirty a bit. <sighs> It almost kind of smells like, you know, uh, a, you know, like fragrance that was worn yesterday, <laughs> if this makes any sense. This is, I mean, quite a bold fragrance. Uh, I don't know the notes from the top of my head, I forgot because, you know, I, I'm not so prepared that I should be for this. But, um, you know, I'm sure you can Google that out on Fragnetic and Base Notes. To me, a very daring, daring scent. Definitely not a scent for every day, definitely not an office safe, safe scent. Uh, but one with a great projection, the same goes with Bocanera and the great longevity. Um, I, I, I personally like it, I enjoy it, um, but I will tell you that some of the people around me do not enjoy this fragrance. So I, I do wear it seldomly and I do wear it for myself. And this is what it's about, you should wear it for yourself, not for somebody else. Um, to me, it is a masterpiece from the house of Orto Parisi from Galtieri uh, called Sturcus. Here's the, the little label. Anyway, so these are the two Galtieri's from his recent, I mean, from his own house called Otto Parisi. Um, the next are the three Nazamatos, and I'll try to speed this up because uh, it's already 12 minutes. So I have from the Nazamato, which of course Galtieri was the perfumer behind, three pieces. And these are Black Afghano. Duro, which I did a review on, and I'm not gonna go in depth on this one or talk much about it, except from it's a great, bold, manly cologne. And Pardon, which was my favorite and still probably is my favorite Nazamato. Uh, all of these three are extracts of Parfum, so the performance, longevity is very long, very good. Um, projection also. I like the bottles, they're very different, have nice wooden caps, and they come with little plastic caps for you know traveling um, you don't need a lot with these ones guys you know because they are extract the parfum so the performance and longevity is great black black afghano is the one that is you know kind of more controversial because they are saying that there is a hashish note in this i mean i don't know as i said previously on once i have it in one of my monthly favorite videos i'm not sure there's any hashish in this all right uh, as for uh, pardon this is Again, I'm not sure if I'm able to go through the notes, but man, there's patchouli in here, of course, wood, um, definitely some wood in here. Uh, this is just such a nice smell. I mean, I just, I get intoxicated by this one all the time when I smell it. And of course, Duro, you know, pretty straightforward, leather, spices and wood. Um, next, uh, Amouage, let's do the Amouage pieces. Um, so from Amouage I have three bottles which are currently my favorite bottles. This one is the easy wearable one. It's called Reflection Man. Um, some people say that this smells like one million. Um, I smell one million. I, you know, there are similarities to this. Uh, one million from Paco Rabanne. Um, but to me this just is a more refined, yeah, this is just a more refined, better smelling one million. If not to offend anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a really really nice scent and it's one of the amouages that is really wearable you know really really super wearable you can wear it pretty much all around the whole season and it's office uh, scent um, okay you know you can wear it in the office you can wear it on you know going out and whatnot so pretty safe fragrance um, next is uh, this one uh, which is called Lyric Man. This is a rose-driven fragrance with a twist. 
because the opening is very fresh. So the opening is made out of bergamot and you know fresh notes and then it kind of goes into that a rose note which you know a lot of people associate with women and ladies and whatnot and not a manly kind of uh, note but you know i do i do not agree with that uh i, I think especially here in this particular uh fragrance it's blended to perfection it's blended more towards men or i mean easily worn by ladies don't get me wrong but i think this is very safe for men to wear yeah, it's absolutely beautiful um, just to me and very, very sexy, dare I say, so intimately sexy. You know, this this becomes, this one is not so loud projection wise, uh, but you know, it kind of is around, you know, like 20, 30 centimeters off your skin. So when you get close up with somebody, you know, they're going to smell it and it, what a beautiful intoxicating smell this is. Um, next from my Amouage collection and the last from my collection, of course, Jubilation 25. Um, there is a ton of reviews on this. Um, this is a very, very beautiful, complex niche fragrance. A lot of things going on in here. <sighs> wow. Um, just smells like gold. And actually, the, the, it looks like gold because everything's golden, kind of, you know, golden harder on this. Um, incense, berries, I think, honey, just woods, a lot. You know, if you look at the notes, uh, composition there's like I think 30 40 notes in this absolutely beautiful beautiful highly recommend this piece from Amwash. next I'm gonna show you uh, two of my creeds that I currently own um, uh, I plan to pick up maybe one more or two more but at the moment I have the two that are the most near and dear to my heart um, so first one is the green Irish tweed um, this one is, you know, goes back, I think, till 1985 when it was introduced to the market. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful, gentleman's kind of... I, I wear this when I'm suited and booted up. I think it's a perfect companion when you are in a suit. It just gives you that, you know, smell of refinement. Um, just a gentleman, classy kind of smell. Very green, you know fragrance this one but you know something that lasts and projects it's quite you know i, I would say this projects better than aventus which is the second bottle that i want to show you i might as well bring it up um so for me this you know projection wise longevity wise this is you know longer power than, than this particular thing um and you know it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous i do kind of wear it more in a formal setting i'll be honest with you i don't wear this in my free time that much you know i don't see myself or i don't you know put on a jogging suit and put put this on not that it's something wrong with that but you see this kind of drives me towards wearing it you know with a suit or something like that <sighs> aventus so let's talk aventus for a second um if you're into fragrances and you know you 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 probably heard about this one um I tried not to like it, I'll be honest with you, because it's so hyped, you know, so everybody's saying Aventus is the best, Aventus need to try Aventus, but man, it is really nice, you know, I'll be honest, it's really, really nice, it's a compliment together, you know, people like it, everybody likes it, you know, ladies, men, older men, younger men, older ladies, you know, just everybody, cats, I don't know, dogs, everybody, just it's universally loved. And it kind of captures everybody, you know, somebody is kind of likes the pineapple note in it, some of them like the pepper note in it. It's just, it's just so many things for so many different people. It's there for a reason. It's, you know, called like the king of niche smells for a reason. It is very good. It is very expensive though. Also performance wise, I told you on me, I wish the performance was better. I don't get the longevity and I don't get, you know, the the sillage that I would want from it so I, I would need to reapply it almost you know if I put it on in the morning after lunch I would need to kind of reapply it a bit because it just does not last as long as I would wish it would last on me but take that aside it's a it's a beautiful beautiful scent and I highly recommend it and the last one is this little beauty from the house of Guerlain um, this is from their limited I believe collection and it's called Angelique Noir um, this is basically, you know, the, the two main things in this thing are vanilla and Angelica. So uh, Angelica on itself, and I can smell it from, you know, from the, from the bottle. It's kind of a, you know, it has a bit of pinch of aggressiveness, kind of, kind of biting the nose a bit. But 
you know, on the initial application, you know, for like 15 minutes, the Angelica note is there kind of dancing with vanilla, but then vanilla takes over. But once the vanilla take over, I'll be honest with you, um, I, I still yet to find a better blended vanilla than this piece. Uh, I mean, the vanilla that is blended in this particular uh, perfume, it's absolutely divine. It's really, it's, it's angelic, that's how it is. It just it smells so good. That said, I am selling this. I actually, I already sold this. So um, the person that you know is going to receive this, um, I'm going to ship this today. Um, and you know, we've been chatting through uh, through a forum on this particular fragrance. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. I know you're watching my video, so I, this is going out to you. You know who you are. I'm not going to tell your name because you know this is the internet, and whatnot. But I'm going to pack this up today for you. I'm going to send it to you. The reason why I'm moving it over, just for everybody else to know, is. As much as I love it, you know, I do believe, you know, it's kind of not suiting me, my character. And I do believe it's really quite a feminine, feminine, feminine fragrance. Again, nothing wrong wearing a feminine fragrance, but it kind of does not suit my character. Uh, so what happened was I bought this for myself, I wore it once, and then I keep just smelling the cap at home and not using it. And, you know, for what it is... Um, it's supposed to be used and that's why I'm moving it forward. So if you're watching this video, I'm packing it today, I'm sending it to you and I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, and with that, you know, we come to the end of this uh, video of my fragrance collection. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions of any of the fragrances I mentioned in this video, do let me know down in the comment box. That said, once again, thank you all for watching. I appreciate all your comments and all your support. And of course, subscribe for more videos because I'll be coming back with some new videos shortly. Thanks again for now and I wish you a great day. Bye.